want everyone to get inspired and start thinking about warm temperatures. Maybe start thinking about what your landscape dreams are. Mm -hmm. We've got garden design trends uh, that we're going to be seeing all across the globe, definitely across the continent. So let's go through some of these trends. And yeah. one of them we already heard about at the top of the show. Yeah. And it's about a hands-off uh, sort of way of dealing with your garden. Wabi-sabi. Yeah, wabi-sabi. This word, wabi-sabi. It's everywhere. It, it is everywhere. I like saying it even. Wabi-sabi! <laughs> look at that garden, And if you though, look at it, it's wild. It's wild. If wabi-sabi is really just letting things happen, letting nature take its course. And when I say wabi-sabi is really just the cottage garden. Right. It's a new take, a new term for the cottage garden. Yeah. And that is where, you know, there's really just no theme. Things are happening. And you're really just losing loosening things up. Mm -hmm. uh, gardening over time has become very almost stressful. Uh, <laughs> right. It really can be where you have contemporary looks with prune boxwood hedges that take a whole lot of maintenance and work. Yeah. It's really getting people sometimes scared away from the garden and my ambition is always to get people into it. And mm. your garden is your personality. So if your personality is a little bit of wabi-sabi, mm -hmm. then go Do with the wabi-sabi. Yeah, I like it. I just like that it makes it a little bit more accessible. But as you say, it sort of depends on where you are. Yeah. Um, if you are living in a super contemporary neighborhood, you have to be careful about where you go with the wild garden. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you can get away with it, do it. And the good thing about a wild garden is you plant it and then you sort of let it get better and better every year. Right? Yeah, and, and, it, and it will. It gets better every year, every season. And it really plays to pollinators, so your bees, your yes. butterflies, uh, allowing it to become a part of nature. And the thing mm -hmm. that you spoke about, too, is when it comes to your neighborhood. With good design, you want to have your own personality, but yes. you also don't want to be a sore thumb sticking out. No, you don't. You, you kind of want to play with what your Fit elements are yeah. and work. And this is where the next trend kind of goes in, and that's old world charm. This is absolutely yeah. stunning. Look yeah. at that backyard. So this is a, a backyard that's actually a new backyard in an old community in an old urban center oh, and this okay. is where they've taken tumbled stone uh, reclaimed wood yeah. uh, use some live edge wood as well and some outdoor lighting to really kind of blend in those elements and make a space look like it's always been there and make a right. space really cozy and warm yeah um, and sky's your limit when it comes to budget some of these are maybe not attainable but the ideas are yeah if you're thinking about hiring a landscaper now's the time to do that you want to make sure that you're checking on references you want to make sure that they they have a portfolio of work and they've done very well and they're a member of a trade association and you might be paying a pretty penny just to get that drawing like that initial drawing of what's in your head put down on paper sometimes but yeah it's it, kind of nice to have that as a guide if you're going to be spending money um, and getting it done on your own they can at least get you started in the right direction and often that saves you money so you That's get the right. design done yeah. then what you can do is go out and give it across to get three different prices from three different landscape That's contractors right. at that time yeah. and some contractors that will do the design for you will actually work that design off as a part of your job cost so yep. there's many different things that you you can do out there yeah. but a good design a good plan really really works with your space because if you have limited space you got to say how can I maximize this how can I put yes. that outdoor kitchen in do I want a pool okay let's take a look at uh, very modern lines here so yeah, contemporary um, still there. very contemporary yeah it's so lovely. this is a this is a modern architecture so if we were to do wabi-sabi with that modern ar architecture and mm. the modern lines it just wouldn't work mm -hmm. so where you see here is you got some group plannings even at the same token it's very organic and earthy in the way that it, it looks itself yeah. Very low maintenance, though. This is a, what I would call almost a clinical garden. Right. <laughs> Very low maintenance. Yeah. It's somebody that likes the look of the outdoors, but doesn't like the work of the outdoors. Never wants to touch it? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. just want it to yeah. look good. Yeah. And I that's okay. Yeah. I mean, you, could, you, you might be that person. You have to know your personality. Um, let's look at this next picture, and you can explain what the trend is here. I'm just in love. Is yeah, that I'm an in, infinity pool? That is an infinity pool oh, that goes Lordy. out to a lake. Uh, oh. And right now, people want 365 uh, outdoor living. This has uh, all the screens that open up around, so this oh. indoor space becomes a part of the outdoor space. Love that. But it can be utilized all the time, but also maximizing views. Often when we talk about the landscape, we don't think about the indoors, and we don't think about looking outdoors and the views that we can create by planting. Yes. And by creating those views and vignettes that you look outdoors, well, that's what's going to inspire you in the dead of winter, even when there's snow. Imagine that, sitting in that pool, snow, and that beautiful mm. outdoor. Uh, indoor pools are really expensive. Yes. Uh, the humidifiers, the dehumidifiers to take the humidity out of the air can be $40,000. So oh is this achievable gosh. for a lot? But n not really, but the idea is. You yes. Know, sometimes when doing a landscape design, look outside and try to figure out the views that you will have. Or you know what? Find a friend that has that. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. Because then I have a friend that has a cottage. They can pay the forty thousand yeah, dollars. I have a friend with a cottage, visit. a friend yeah. with a boat. I have all those type of friends. Mm -hmm. Friends with southern properties. Those are good yeah. friends. They're great friends. Let's talk a little bit about lighting when it comes to your landscaping. Um, you know, it's sometimes it's worth the money to get that beautiful layered lighting. So look at this as a night scene, but it is beautifully lit. Yeah, uh, you know, when it comes to the outdoors, outdoor landscape lighting, very, very popular trend that's growing because people are working and they're working really late yes. and a lot of the times they get home at night and they want to still enjoy that space that they've enjoyed. Mm -hmm. um, it really it's important to make sure that you have this done by a professional electrician. 100%. Uh, yeah and you want to make sure that you do this safely. There's some home kits that you can use yeah. but they're really low cost LED lights that are coming down that you're not spending a lot of money for energy consumption. That's right. Which is really good. Oh my gosh, that looks stunning. Um, and then meditation gardens. Yeah. So this is a big trend and I love this idea. Yeah, this is just a little space where you could just go sit out in nature yeah. and just relax. And having a, a, even a secret garden where you could go meditate, this is something that is growing because we do have stressful lives and we are so connected. Mm -hmm. We are so connected right now with our devices we're on email that sometimes we're overconnected. So uh -huh. you need to disconnect. Mm -hmm. There's no iPod connection out mm -hmm. there, nothing. Mm -hmm. You just go out, maybe read a book, yeah. take it easy. And this is the whole idea is you're designing outdoor spaces to yeah. maximize your property, to maximize your enjoyment and at the same token to make things look darn pretty. Totally, yeah. <laughs> and it's, this is handling it all. I often think about how like the juxtaposition between me meditating but doing it off my iPhone. It's just weird, because yeah. So, yeah. I have a, medication, a meditation app, yeah. right? So it's like, hmm, I'm silent, but I'm still connected to technology. Yeah, even my, Anyways, my iWatch tells me when to breathe. Right? Yeah. I like, like, I know when to breathe. I understand. <laughs> I know how to do that. Um, it's nice, though, if yeah. you can have some downtime uh, to just think.